I grew up pretty much on the north side of Flint. I was very active in a lot of sports, but I was also what one could consider at-risk youth because of some of the decisions and the choices I made. Outside of that, I was always very intelligent, just, you know, talent that hadn't been tapped into. One of those things that I kind of miss about the city of Flint is the, the neighborhood type of environment that was like family. Where I got my goal for higher education was probably instilled in me as a kid. I went off to Michigan State. I, I majored in pre-med human biology. I started a CNA program, which is a certified nursing assistant program. In 2009, the same year that I got my home, I graduated with my bachelor's in nursing. I am the first in my family to obtain a, a college degree. And it, it actually means a lot for my family because I know for my younger siblings and other members of my family that it gives them hope to know that it's possible. I came from the same background, the same circumstances. I had heard about Habitat before. I wanted to have a Habitat home if it all was possible, but I didn't think I was eligible because I was a single individual without any children. And I thought it was for extremely poor people that they would just give them a home. And I think that's the perception of most people who don't have a good knowledge about what Habitat does and how they help families. Habitat for Humanity is, is definitely not a handout. It's a hand up. They require you to do sweat equity. We do have a mortgage. So we do pay for our homes, which means we have to have some form of income. Habitat builds quality housing for individuals who qualify and who desire to partner with them. Initially, I was declined, and then I received a letter a few months later asking me if I was willing to partner. The feeling of getting those keys, it was just something I had never experienced before. Home ownership to me at that time, it was just like, this is my chance. Habitat became a family and you just don't walk away from family. I was always in, still involved in, you know, whether it was fundraisers or, you know, helping some of my neighbors put in their sweat equity hours. And Margaret and a couple of others asked me if I wanted to be a board member. It was a very unique opportunity because I'm one, they never had a homeowner on the actual board. So, it gives it a different perspective because I can kind of see both sides. Anytime they ask me to do anything, I'm more than willing because I know the impact that it'll make and how it'll change the trajectory of lives for individuals that are Habitat homeowners.